Oh, Bukati Ashua Parishko Dova now, Rume, Robaka, Maspara, Vanevan, Divon, Vaneva Dotea, Udabar Tanganes, our office. In the meantime, I would like to uh, introduce to you uh, the portfolio committee which is before you here today. My name is Lisa Manu. I am the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Transport. To my left is the Honorable Hun Singer, who is a member of the Portfolio Committee. Next to him is Honorable Mabena, member of the Portfolio Committee. Next to him is Honorable Sitole, who is a member of the Portfolio Committee. Next to him is Honorable May, who is the member of the Portfolio Committee. To my extreme right is Honorable Bilankulu, who is the member of this committee. Portfolio Committee in <laughs> Next to him is Honorable McDonald, who is also a member of the Portfolio Committee. Sinina Wondim Tom Pebo McDonald, Vanina Wondim Rado, a Portfolio Committee in Uh, next to him is Honorable Ramadwa, who is also a member of the Portfolio Committee. Uh, last but not least, you know you leave the best for last is Honorable Kumalo right next to me, Member of Parliament and Member of the Portfolio Committee. Thank you very much, colleagues, for acknowledging uh, the audience. Um, we like to outline how we are going to run the program. Uh, we will uh, invite um, His Excellency the Mayor, Councillor uh, Mawela, who is with us to welcome us all in this uh, beautiful town so that we don't welcome ourselves. We can't go to your house and thereafter say to you in your house, uh, let me welcome myself in your house. Councillor, Mayor, we don't know where the dogs are, whether the dogs are unleashed or they are, they are safe, so only you can tell us if we are safe. Well, Mayor, Renepano, Rababa Dari, our divisor, Chiminichinga Gai, Kanadzimbiazo, Ungiwana, Zonezo, Bonevar, Sumbez, Abar Tanganeza, Ragono Perapanda. Thank you, Program Director. The Goliwa Mchimizam Mshumo. Members of the Portfolio Committee on Transport, Portfolio Committee, fellow councillors, Ma Councillor Aote, invited guests, Urumera Aote, Oh, 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 Rambiwao, Vaimeri Aote, Vazwimi, Sosos Chava, 
representatives of all the organizations and uh, citizens of Musina. Good, Good morning. morning to everyone. First of all, I would like to thank the members of the Portfolio Committee of Transport. Who saw it fit that this public hearing be held in this town of Musina? It is indeed an honor for us to be selected amongst all other municipalities in Vembe to host this important occasion. Program director, our democracy's founding document, the Freedom Charter, clearly indicates that the people shall govern. Freedom Charter ito sumbezisa. Inei ito wa muteo ya murayo ya ashu kana mbeka nyamaita reza ashu ya uri watu. Ndibuwa ni wanewa do wusa. Honea, watu wa wusa ngandira ade. So, how do people govern? People govern by forming part of decision making processes of government. Watu wa wusa, watu wa wusa nga ujia, nga uba chipida cha cheyo za mbeka nyamushumo kana mbeka nyamaita reza mubuso. Like we are doing today. This one demo in a rene such a chava. Even a fewa. It is also important for us as citizens or residents to make inputs to these laws. Hence, government has given us the opportunity to do so in today's occasion. Ninga zomubuso wari pachikara chauri dere zulepano. As I conclude, Program Direct, I have no doubt that every individual will be able so that our inputs can be heard. So we welcome each one of you. You are all welcome in the ring. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Mayor. We, we feel very welcome. And we look forward to the coffee that you'll invite us to after the session. Um, the public hearing we are holding here today is on the rail safety bill. And um, we have been on a road show doing public hearings across the country. And we did three provinces last year, and this is the first province in the year 2023. So the meeting is about listening to yourselves and not talking to ourselves. So we are not going to answer questions. Because we want to hear from you, what are your inputs on the bill? What would you like to see? What would you like to see amended? So I will, uh, once I've given sort of the outline, sit down and take you through some of the pertinent issues in the bill as a refresher or a summary. And then thereafter, we will give you, the people who have 
created an opportunity to talk to us about what you'd like to see in the bill. Uvaabo, rinerko do na chizabe wichikara, radzura fasi rapeta zanda, ratechele saveiwe, naribu zazore ndispio zine na kutoa kamra yotebe ononi. The temptation is always when you see members of parliament to raise other issues beyond what we are here for. While we will not stop you while we are talking, but we appeal to you that we confine ourselves to the rail safety bill before us. Zenezo, kumbero kuwa na sanga uduto kupata ndi aori. Rene bonye wachikwa mbaranga dawa imisan, kana mbaranga dawa tivera. Pezi, rukumbero rima kumetwa abo kana zote zine bado wakuamba. Zive zine zakuamba kana zuka muteyo. Oyu amrayo tibe ono ni watirele zisporo. The mayor is here, speakers are here, councillors are here. These are the representatives that we should be interacting with on a daily basis where we've got issues and they know how to elevate those issues. Maybe it will help us uh, speakers and counselors who are here that you just rise up so that we can know where you are seated. Uh, just that wave, you know, that says, um, we are here. All right, thank you so much. That's a, I think this is the best representation, Mayor, of councillors uh, that we have seen so far, which is very encouraging. In other provinces, we had to ask, can't we just get, even if it's one councillor nyana, just to, to come and be here? We do appreciate your presence. We know that the work of councillors is a very thankless job because every day you are confronted by these uh, issues, service delivery issues, and other issues, but we do appreciate your leadership by being here today. Thank Zanezo, you so much. Zanezo, other than talking to us through the mic, through the language of your choice, there is also another way you can make contribution. On my extreme left, along the wall there, there are people there who will be capturing everything that is being said here today. They also got forms that you may fill in and write your submission. So maybe you don't want to speak, you are a person who doesn't like speaking in front of many people. You can go there, they'll help you write, or you can write yourself and make your submission. So you should never feel like because you've written, you have not spoken, or you have spoken that maybe certain things have not been captured, everything will be taken equally so. Before I sit down and take you through the brief, I want to appeal once more. presentation 
If somebody has already said what you wanted to say, please do not repeat it so that we can save time. We want to limit every speaker to a maximum of three minutes to speak. So no preamble, nothing, just go straight to the points if you can. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to stop you while you have not made your point that you really wanted to make. Also, we ask for respect. The person who's speaking might not be speaking what you want to hear, but let's give them respect and listen to them. No howling or shouting somebody to sit down. Usongo ba na u chemelera kana u vizelera kana u itaposhoro mungo mtu afetsele agutura pasi. Everybody has got the right to be heard. Mtu mwana mungo una panelo ya ufiwa. As the mayor said, this is part of what the Constitution uh, enshrines upon us as legislators to hear your voices. And also everybody must have an opportunity to contribute to the formulation of legislation. So in a summary, in a nutshell, that is how we are going to conduct the day. So with your permission that I'm giving myself, I'm going to start. As I've already said, the bill before us is the rail safety bill. Its main purpose is intended to improve rail safety in the country. The bill is intended to repeal or to replace a bill called the National Rail Safety Regulator Act. National, National Road Safety Act. National Railway Safety Act. Act. Regulator Act. Regulator Act. In addition, the bill also seeks to promote the use of a preferred mode of transport. The bill does not replace all elements in the National Rail Safety Regulator Act. The National Rail, Railway Safety Regulator Act. National Safety Regulator Act. It seeks to introduce new concepts which are to enhance safety, as I've already said. So the bill has got a couple of clauses which I'll try and run through very, very quickly. And I will pick up those clauses that I believe that I want to draw your attention to, not to say the others are not important. Clause 9 of the bill, where I will start, talks about the governance and it talks about the appointment of a board. 
chiam chine unenda doto maone chiamba ngamu buso na kubumbelo kwa board. Who can be in the board? Who qualifies to be in the board? How can the minister remove or replace board members? Linyi ane ateo wa chipida cha board na one hani na uri minister angakono ufisa hani mirado ya board. It also goes over to clause 10, which even prescribes how many members in that board can be appointed. Right up to clause 12, which will talk about chairperson, deputy chairperson, and other functionaries within the board are dealt with in those clauses. Richard Sanayo Pasi and Gekastan was a woman believe, Unacha Dovachko and Bangamu Zurach Turo, Namimu Mirato, Une Yabego Sumbit Sauri, Kushumere, Namaitere, and Diapio. Clause 14 deals with the functions of the board. Chimacha Wufumi Ina, Chiambanga, Kushumereko Bodo. And as I've said, Clause 15 deals with issues of disqualification. Who can be disqualified from member? of the board. Chitengwa cha ufumi thanu sa zonda sumbe sa zone chiambanga uri ndi upi yo murado kana ndi nyi ane uwa konu uhanelwa uri ene akte yu ujenelela ka uba murado wa board. I want then to jump to clause 27. Uva abondi dofu panga lubilo luhuru nda yaka chitengwa cha ufumi thanu cha ufumi sumbe 27 deals with how the funding of the rail safety regulator is done. Chabufumbili sumbe chia mbanga ndila ine neche za masherini kana avero masherini ka muranguli hoyo wasuporo. It deals with the levies, permit fees and other forms of raising of money for the rail safety regulator. Chia mbanga ndila nji za uku banga nyacharede ufanana zilevi na zingwe ka muna yotibe hoyo ni. One important aspect that this bill introduces is what we call rail safety permits or safety permits. Clause 30 of the bill deals with that process of applications, when to approve or to refuse an application, and the times within which an appeal can be made. Chitengwa cha wufuraru, chiamba ngazwe zo urendi lini unene nibangaisa kukumbelo zavo na one arali yohana, yohani wa. Ndizu zipi yozu nibangaita zone uribasu kisembilelo zavo. Clause 33 also deal with the way of either suspension or surrender of a safety permit that would have been issued. Chitengwa cha wufuraru, raru chone chiamba nga u Another aspect here that gives responsibility in the bill is a what we call training institutions in the area of rail. Clause 35 provides for the accreditation of those training institutions and the process thereof. The other area of importance in clause 36 is the instruments that the minister can use to, Im to introduce rail safety um, standards applicable to, to rail. Chingwe, nichine minister wanga kono uchishumisa, kana zutengwa zine minister wanga kono zishumisa, msi bachi visa, kana bachi toma, zi standardi, zwa atrelezo, ziporoni. Clause 38, which is a, a very new and interesting clause. Chabufu, raruma, alo chine, 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 it proposes that the rail safety regulator must introduce or establish consultative forums. Clause 41, which is also a relatively new clause, 
talks about safety inspections and safety inspectors. Chabufu inanti chine na chone ndichiswa chi ambanga zipikita rezo useza tsirelezo ya zuporoni. Appointment of trained persons as railway inspectors and the use of certificates of appointment to identify such persons. Clause 42 up to clause 46 deals with the powers and duties of rail way safety inspectors what they can do what they cannot do powers that they have clause 48 deals with the power I mean uh, duties of an operator an operator would be an organization, for instance, like Transnet, in our case, and Prasa. There might well be other pro operators as time goes on. I'm just giving those two as an example for now. So clause 48 gives duties or responsibilities to operators in the case of an incident or an accident in their operations. Clause 50 explains or gives responsibility to minister to decide which is a major investigation to be conducted on rail. And clause 51 says that in the event of a major incident, the minister must appoint an investigator or an investigation team so that clause deals with all those aspects, how to go about it. Importantly, it doesn't remove the responsibility of an operator to conduct their own investigation should they so require. Clause 53 empowers the minister to request the president of the republic to appoint a commission of inquiry. And should there be anything that the minister might think requires such a commission? Like in any environment where there are decisions taken or permits issued, there would be people who are aggrieved. So clauses 54 up to clause 56 make provision for an appeal framework or an appeal mechanism appealing certain decisions. Clause 57 and 58 introduce penalties and offenses. Clause 60, it empowers a court to inquire into a harm or loss or damage should that require a court to arbitrate. Clause 
clause 61 up to clause 65 makes provision for the promulgation or uh, production of regulations by the minister. In many aspects, it gives powers to the minister to draft regulations, publish them, and the process thereof. Clause 70 towards the end. As I said at the beginning, that this bill seeks to repeal or to replace an existing act which is called the National Rail Safety Regulator Act. National Railway Safety Regulator Act. So at the end of it all, that act must be appealed once Parliament agrees to enact this bill, and then that act will cease to exist or will be phased out, depending how Parliament resolves. My summary was not in any intention to read to you the whole legislation, but to flag some areas. From now, the process is yours. We are going to recognize hands. We will take 10 people at a time. As I recognize you, we will ask that if you can, you rise up and come and sit at the chairs provided in the center. When your time comes, you will come to the mic. Introduce yourself. An organization you represent, if you represent an organization. You are more than welcome to represent yourself, nothing wrong. And thereafter, you will express yourself in the language of your choice, which will be interpreted to the audience. In as a reminder, our humble request is that we limit ourselves to the rail safety bill. We know there is load shedding, it affects all of us. We know the roads are terrible as we're coming here. Mayor, we saw terrible potholes, even in town. And we hope there is a plan. But for purposes of here, we are asking humbly call, uh, uh, the community and reps here, we stick to the rail safety bill. Again, we want to take as many speakers, so limit yourself, please. I'm ready to take hands. They started at the back, interestingly. The brother in front of the one in a cap, you are number 
Oh, yes, the one who's looking at the back. You Number two. Yes, you, you are number two. This side, you are number three. Number four, you are number three. Take your number three seat. I don't see any other hand this side. Did I miss anybody? No. You, you have another chance. Let's come this side. Uh, number four. Number five. Number six. Let's take uh, the seats, please, so that we make sure. It's number four right in front. Number five with the blue shirt and uh, number six there. Can I, any other hands the side? I'm short of four on the first round. Number seven. Yes, my brother. Anybody else? All right, we won't, we won't delay. We will go with those that are ready to speak. There is something that is called wave brain or brain wave. When people speak, you also want to speak. The first one is ready to go. Number three. Thank you, I'm Director. I am Kunwana Aipeli Samuel from Musina Municipality, representing Ward 7, also representing ANC Youth League. Uh, I will start with the Railway Safety Bill. We accept the bill. The use of train from Musina to Gauteng is very cheap. Compared to what compared to what previously paid. We hope the status will remain. We hope the status will remain the same. Job opportunity is created. Market at station and selling in train. Taxi industry will also benefit as they will carry commenters from different angles to the station. Cleaners will also be employed. Train has less accidents. Train must have toilet as it was previously. It makes it uh, safe. Provides, provides shuttle to take commenters to and from the stations. But it takes two days to travel from Musina to Khautin. Hence we need fast train like Khautin. Provide railway police, security personnel, and uh, security devices that will talk to the bill as, as safety is important. Ticket charges must include the shuttles from villages. That's it. Um, I was thinking about skipping this uh, 
but let me just just read it. Roads from villages must be tied so that the safety of shuttle is guaranteed. Uh, I will use my, my home language. I will use my home language. Uh, I want to give an example. Uh, junction. In a grave, so Rajaj Ping and Amanda or Rishike Musina. Uva Muso the Dipe in T Junction, Rada Muso the road from a Dipe in Muso the Chismani, Uda Forobode, to Forobode, Ragumach Kudin T Junction, a to teach Kudin T Junction. Yeah, in a gravel. So, Yaba in a. It has gravel. Yaba in a Gunteri in Gartavanya, this Ushika stationing. If it is tight, it will make it possible for us to reach the station uh, very fast. Communication network must be well established to villages so that they can communicate with station and shuttle. And shuttles. So, I would have easy. So, I would have done this for no who could see what's been seen. We told Rukono, who I would have done a woody. Water must also be provided to all communities, that is Musina Township and villages. The bill will pass, but who will board the train? People will be dead by lack of water. Arrange with the relevant departments that the bill will fail if the, there will be a shortage of water. I thank you, Program Director. Thank you very much. Can I request uh, the interpreters? Let's allow the speakers to flow. Take notes of what they are saying in whatever language, whoever will be interpreting, and thereafter give us a summary of the key points that the speaker would have said. Other speakers want to flow. They don't want interruption, they might forget what they want to say. Mm. So, so interpreters, if you would allow the speaker to speak right through, then when they sit down, you then step up and give us a summary, please. Uh, Chairperson of the portfolio. My name is Nkwana Dominic, representing the African National Congress as the sub regional secretary. Allow us to appreciate the presence of fully equipped parliamentarians who have blessed our town of Musina this morning. And we appreciate the presence of the mayor and other fellow councillors. Ours is very much straightforward to say the railway safety bill is well documented, well received. Nonetheless, at the very same breath, we wish to highlight a question which probably seeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, in term, it's uh, disturbing the speaker. Is there an issue that we are missing or you can't hear him? All right. As we appealed earlier, let's allow speakers, please, to speak and finish. Yes, Anybody who wants to speak, you will raise a hand and you will have an opportunity. 
please go ahead. Yeah, the, the understanding we have at Chairperson is that safety of any infrastructure brings about efficiency and effectiveness of that particular service which has been delivered. And as such, we can't relegate the bill into something which is useless. And as such, we support. Over and above that, Chair, we would want to highlight that at least the bill should take to cognizance special economic zones throughout the country. And as such, the security will therefore be emphasized according to the importance of the economical activity attached to those towns. Seated where you are, Chair, you are in Mosina, which borders African countries, go to the northern side of Africa. And for a very long time, we were not even the existing train services, not because of security.